All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. This is just going to be a super duper quick unboxing and a little bit of factual information about what's inside. So let's crack it open and just get right to it, shall we? I know it's been a little bit. I have a ton of things to uh, continue to get out for you guys, so don't worry, it's coming. All right, and I think that, my friends, is everything. Got a nice little handwritten note in there, too. That was cool. All right, so we got the notebooks, and if you can't tell already, this is going to be stuff from Story Supply, a company I have not tried out yet. I'm really excited to, and this is their kit, so stoked to try that as well. I dig the packaging on this guy. That's nice that they're already ready to go. We'll crack this one open first, because it should be the easiest. And boom. Boom. We should have one more in here. Nice. All right. Let's set that over to the side. So, what do we have? Let me get this guy cracked open too. And then I'll give you all a factual rundown per the norm. Nice. Just kind of stoked about these guys. First of all, purple is my favorite color. Second of all, you guys know that I freaking love pocket notebooks like a. Uh, a little bit of an addiction there. Third, I've never seen anything like this before, the embossing stuff. So I thought that was really, really awesome. Got to give it a give it a try. And plus being the linen, I think these will break in really nicely. And fourth or fifth, I don't remember what number we are on, but 407 was the area code of uh, the area that I was from originally. Uh, I can't remember if it was Orlando or specifically but anyways that was what my first phone numbers used to have back in the day so got that so let's go over some of the facts before i show you some of the other stuff i guess so this guy we'll start here is 12 dollars. it is the pocket staple edition 407 as you can see here i guess based on the number of kickstarter backers in the original uh kickstarter that these guys came from um so that way you can see a little bit of the sides and stuff and the cover is made out of 100 pound uh, linen finished stock and the inside is 70 pound Cougar Natural, which I'm really excited about. So that should be really great for pens and pencils, specifically pencils right now. Uh, and they are 48 pages dot grid, which I'll show you in just a second. Some of the other cool things about these guys are they're made in the USA. Uh, they do the buy one, give one thing is kind of what Story Supply is known for, which I'll put the link down below to their site so you can find out more. Uh, and then also this is specifically FSC, SFI, and Rainfor Alliance Energy Certified, which is freaking nuts for a little notebook like this to have um, just so much care and attention put into it. I think it's pretty cool. And they're manufactured with 100% renewable energy. Kind of ridiculous. So I'm really excited to give these a try, and it makes me feel good to use them. So that's kind of a win-win-win-win-win for everybody. And these guys are the Story Supply Kit 001. So I got the kit because it comes with a pencil. You guys know I'm kind of obsessing about pencils right now. It comes with a sticker, which always love a good sticker. And this one is a good sticker. And uh, then it comes with the notebook itself. So uh, this is 5.25 by 7.75. So it is definitely smaller than a normal comp book, uh, which they're not claiming it to be a composition book, which is fine. But I'll tell you why about this in just a second. It has 64 pages, and the internals of this is actually 60-pound natural smooth tech stock um, so let's set these guys aside pencil i'm excited to try you may see this in an upcoming video story supply really nice uh, natural pencil which i love it is round really tasteful gold ferrule and blue eraser but this is not the review of the pencil it does look like the center is a little off i'm sorry the core is a little off centered which is really a bummer because this is not going to sharpen very well which you can hopefully see there a little cockeyed um we'll still put it to use and so there you go so look at the front and the back and comparison you can see there boom all right so that's perfectly aligned so you can see it's definitely smaller which duh uh, one of the things about this guy is the inside cover so they're talking about how you can use this to make comics which i think is kind of cool create your own comic uh, throw that in the inside cover here and then on the back cover they also said they have some ideas for things to write about in case you get stuck. So if you're using this for journaling or anything of the like, then it gets you some ideas here on the back. It has a nice little ruler, and then the paper itself is all the same, just lined. Uh, it's the same as the first page here. So 
feels good. It is 60 pounds, so it's not like too heavy. It's not too light. Uh, so what I plan on using this for is actually, I'm actually doing NaNoWriMo this year. Uh, I have started a little bit earlier and I've been using the UB notebooks from Target or you buy and it's the same kind of thing So you buy one they give one. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, they're actually pretty inexpensive, but the paper is dope uh, I may or may not do a review of those on the channel if you guys are interested Let me know and then I can throw something up pretty quick uh, Shouldn't take too long um, But yeah, so I'm gonna throw this as a part of my NaNoWriMo this year once I finish up my notebook and Just blow through this one too, and we'll see how the paper does so onto these guys, no particular reason other than what I mentioned. I love purple. I'm really curious to see how this linen breaks in. And uh, dot grid usually is my favorite. Uh, oh, that's going to be rough to see. Sorry, guys, it's blowing out a little bit on the camera. But there's the dot grid. Really nice spacing, it looks like, and that light gray. Kind of similar to like the uh, Baron Fig that I've been using lately. This is pretty pronounced, so that's really cool having that pop out there and just be a nice texture and so is the the linen's actually a nice texture too you can see it matches pretty nicely with the sticker there yeah uh, on the back just have the ssc certification story supply code sorry <laughs> that was terrible uh made in the usa really cool and a little bit of stuff on the back there let me zoom out so you can see zoom out manually <laughs> But yeah, uh, paper is definitely thicker being that 70 pound than the 60 pound in the guy here. But that's pretty much it. It has two staples, so it should hold together pretty well, as you can see there. But feels really nice. I'm really excited to start putting this guy to use and see how this cover breaks in. I love that the purple is a really handsome purple. And then hopefully it performs well with pencil and, pa or pencil and pen, which I'm sure it will. And it has the spot there you go for... Uh, the dates of use it has a little ruler and in inches there content if you want to do that and then the owner information down below uh, And then another ruler on the bottom here Which I think goes all the way. Yep goes all the way across So pretty cool. I'm excited to put them to use. I appreciate you guys swinging by I would also appreciate it if you like share and subscribe down below It's always fun having everyone uh, swing by the channel and check stuff out with me. I look forward to putting these guys to use Thank you story supply for making seemingly awesome products. We'll see if they actually are hint. I think they are um, and these were purchased. They were not given away. So just for that disclosure. But yeah, other than that, take it easy. Have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks.